How's it going, guys? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of Fort. So we're continuing on the campaign here. It's going pretty well so far. Uh, we did a lot of the basic stuff in the first one, uh, checking out the snipers, the machine gunners, as well as just the building aspects. Now we're actually going to get into engineering in the Middle East, so this should be pretty fun. It looks like we need 13 oil to move on to the next part of the campaign, so hopefully we can get there today. First thing we're going to be doing is alternative facts. This one, we need to destroy the enemy fort, cycle minigun group fire, and stop mortar from completing so sounds simple enough okay the enemy is building a mortar to protect this region its reactor is protected by armor as you can see so I'm assuming they're building a tower that high to put that mortar up there I don't know why else he would be in the sky so that's good to know we basically need to beat him in terms of building machine guns can shoot down mortar shells okay we connect to that Yes, I get the idea, and then we connect to that. Simple enough. And then once we connect to that, we got three machine gunners here that it looks like we can upgrade. Yes, then upgrade machine guns to miniguns by right-clicking on them and selecting the up arrow. So this is going to be fun. I'm going to do a really quick bridge here. We can play with ropes, but we should be able to do it without ropes here. Because I want to get there as quickly as possible, because uh, we don't want him getting that mortar. Okay, so we're just going to simply drag this out, weigh it down a little bit. And, I mean, it's not going to be pretty, but it is going to work. I promise you guys that. There we go. That one's done already, and let's go on to this one. I kind of... You know what? Maybe we should do some ropes just in case. How far can these go? Oh, wow. Okay, can go all the way over to here. We'll bring that over there just in case. You know, add some support to this. Why the hell not? I'm not really worried, though. We should be totally fine. Oh, oh okay. Spoke too soon. <laughs> all right. It looks like we might actually need a rope. So what we're going to do is build this upwards. Uh, this should be nice and sturdy here. And then at the top of there, we're going to connect the end with a rope, just like that. So that should hopefully make it a little bit more sturdy. Okay, I don't want rope right now. That way we can actually finish this thing up. So there we go, we'll connect to that, and oh, okay, this is a little bit wonky right now. It's not gonna be the perfect bridge, but it's gonna work, damn it. All right, there we go. We got it all connected. I mean, it's supported. I don't think it's gonna support for much longer. How's he doing? Okay, he's still building upwards, which is really good for us. That means we can actually take these guys and connect them together. Now, we are supposed to upgrade them to machine guns. I'm wondering if I should just bother him a little bit first. It doesn't look like that's gonna help too much. So what we're gonna do is upgrade this guy. There we go, and upgrade this guy. Well, he's still building. Uh, we should be able to upgrade these guys, and yeah, he's not even, I think he's going like all the way up to here or something. Don't know why he would put a mortar on the top of his building. Generally, you want to put them in the behind where they're safe, but you know what? That's totally fine. We're just going to wait it out here. We still have that other machine gunner if we do need to deal with a mortar, but it's looking like I'm going to have this prepared before he even gets to the mortar. All right, so now we get to try some machine gunners, or sorry, mini gunners. Now, the reason we got this is because there's actually, uh, what is this thing called? It's like an upgrade station or something uh, you actually need that to get to the machine gunners here or mini gunners rather uh, so that's why we have them anyways let's try this out oh yeah that's a hell of a lot better than the ordinary machine guns and he's he, he's got a repair now he's freaking out uh, we should be totally fine to kind of knock him down here a little bit oh he's, problem is he's repairing so quick that he might actually be able to get to his thing oh I don't think so there, there's no way he's gonna be able to keep up with this all right, good sir. You keep repairing. I'm just gonna keep spamming my button. This ain't so bad. You know, maybe we should go for the bottom. There's that little hole there. You can see where there's no metal. I think we might try and get into that. So, oh yeah, there we go. We're, we're going for the core here. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, I missed it. And of course he hit me. All right, we're gonna repair that. Connect to these guys again. Ooh, 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 I need to connect to both. There we go. And, oh man, he's actually, now that he's got his mortar, I'm a little scared here. We're just gonna keep repairing through that and focusing on getting this minigun shooting every time because I need to knock him down a, a, a peg or two. There we go, I hit that one out of the air at least, so that wasted his time, which is good. Let's go back to shooting him down a bit. Oh yes, there he goes. Oh, I, I need to get that top down though. He is shooting really quickly. I think that one went a little too far. No, it didn't. Fucking hit me right in the face and it destroyed him, so we're gonna have to put down another one in a second here. Let's do that real quick. All right, there we go. I knocked him down. All right, we're gonna knock down this tower as much as possible because uh, he's doing pretty good at dealing with me. So as, if we can keep this pressure on so we can't rebuild, we should be okay. Then I'm gonna go for his core once I get this down a little bit. I'm just spamming the guns, trying desperately to take this bastard out. Look at how quickly he's repairing. Ah, oh, yes, there we go, we got it. That did not go very well though. He actually did a really good job at knocking my back down. 
I only destroyed the enemy fort. Cycle minigun group fire. I guess I didn't do that. That's okay, though, because we got it done. So let me actually go back to that and try and learn what it's talking about. Because I'm curious. Cycle minigun group fire. There might be another way to cycle the buttons, maybe. Okay, we're doing a lot better this time. I have knocked him down a peg or two. And I am just going to go for the middle again. Oh, yes. There we go. We opened it up. He hasn't even been able to build his mortar yet. So hopefully, I'm just spamming the button right now. I should probably be... A little bit more precise, but oh, we're just so close, and he's building up. All right, I need I need to go for it. I need to go for it right now. All right, and there we go. Now, I did think, yeah, he got one mortar off, unfortunately. So, we didn't get the mortar done, but we got the cycle group done. Basically, you can shoot one at a time, which allows you to be a little bit more accurate. So, that was pretty good. Let's go on to the next one, though, and uh, see what this one has to offer. Okay, WMD, destroy enemy four, prevent enemy firing zero shots or O sh or ass shot rather the uh, text in this game is not the best win by chain reaction so uh, we cannot let him fire a shot obviously destroy the enemy fort and win by chain reaction ooh explosions that's always fun your intelligence has failed you this oil derrick is as barren as this land pay no attention to these barrels they're all empty my ass they're all empty uh, keep the oil. We're here for the weapons of mass destruction. We have been tipped off that the enemy will be placing snipers in these nests. Ooh, that's actually a really good spot for snipers. Okay, so we got to deal with that. Uh, armor protects the reactor. Yes, so maybe we should use, use your snipers to take out theirs. Oh, it's a sniper war. That should be fun. Build a bridge to the upgrade center and use it to upgrade your snipers to armor piercing snipers and destroy their reactor. Okay, that sounds fun. Uh, make your country great again. Yes, we get it. All right, so we're gonna connect these together real quick. Oh, you cannot you can't connect snipers together. Oh Shit. All right. This is gonna be some long-range shooting man. Okay. That was way off. Oh, there we go We got the first one. Okay. Don't I don't really understand why there's so many freaking snipers All right, let's go get the bottom guy just gotta lower it a bit Uh, cuz you can only shoot one at a time. So there's really no sense to change All right, he's actually building his out. So I'm gonna build mine out too. Damn it Uh, we gotta do this quick because He's building snipers as well. Let's watch for his snipers. We're going to put a little rope here to hold this bridge up. There we go. Okay, he does have a sniper now, so let's try and hit that guy a little bit lower. You can see the recoil of my mouse, too. It works really well. Oh, that was so close. Okay, just a little bit lower than that one. That should be good right there. There we go. Now he's got a bottom one as well. Let's drop that a little bit. And bam, first shot. Oh, this is feeling good, guys. This is feeling real good. All right, we're going to continue to build this fort now that his snipers are gone. And, oh, don't pull the whole thing down. That would really suck. I am not the best at fort building, guys. Oh, what the fuck? Why can I not connect to that? Okay, we're going to have to figure that out later because he's probably got... Okay, he's got a top sniper. Oh, shit, he shot me. All right, I guess we're not going to get that one then. The, the, the top one's the hardest one to get, too. Oh, he killed my first sniper. Just because it's such a small hole. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I'm down to one sniper, so we're going to try and get this guy Ooh, just a little lower. Come on. Yes, there we go. We can repair real quick. And now we can upgrade our snipers, our one sniper rather, to an armor piercing sniper. So we're going to do that. We're also going to obviously put down some more snipers here because our other ones did perish, unfortunately. Let's also, uh, we need to make anything metal. I think we should be okay. All right, and we got an armor piercing sniper. So, oh, okay. Well, we, we needed to kill that guy anyways. Let's tr focus on trying to kill the guys right now. They are armor piercing, so we should be able to... Get through those small little pieces of metal in the front. That one, a little bit difficult. There we go. We got that one, though. And bam, the bottom one as well. Am I using the armor piercing? I'm assuming, yes, that's the armor piercing. All right, we killed all his dudes, though. So we're going to upgrade both of these guys. Well, we still have this bottom armor piercer. Now, what do we have to hit? We obviously got to hit... Oh, he's, he's, he's got another sniper. Hold on here. Oh, almost a little higher. All right, there goes that one. He has spawned two more, though. They are being built right now, though. Come on, get the top one. Yes, first try, and bottom one first try? Actually, the, the bottom one's already dead. Okay, so we gotta figure out... I mean, oh, you can actually shoot right through it. So that's the perfect shot right there. We're going to try and keep hitting this. Ooh, he's gonna have to constantly repair. Yes, there we go. We are slowly destroying his armor. We're just gonna keep the pressure on via shooting. Yes, and there we go. The sniper war is complete. That was beautiful. Unfortunately, these are getting very difficult really quickly. Prevent the enemy firing a shot. That is so hard. Win by chain reaction. I guess I could have done something with those explosive barrels. Not too bad, though, honestly. <laughs> we, we, we got a lot to go. We need 13 to go to the next zone, so we're going to have to go back and do some more of these unless we can get... Well, even if we do get all three points here, we're going to have to get one more point, though. So, destroy an enemy fort, shoot miniguns through doors, avoid damage to all armor. 
Oh man, avoiding all damage is really, really difficult. We invented gunpowder, now we invent miniguns. Prepare to have your fort turned into chip wood, then we'll make paper from chips, then from that, toilet paper. All right, thanks for letting me know what you're gonna do with me, buddy. Good luck making toilet paper out of steel, hashtag rough white. What is up with all the hashtags in this game? Uh, the enemy have developed miniguns, a more powerful, less versatile version of the machine guns. Yes, we've already seen those. Uh, the warehouse is blocking the minigun's line of sight, but won't last long. Okay, so we're going to want to get to that really quickly and hopefully upgrade the armor so it can de deal with those miniguns. Once the warehouse is gone, the miniguns will rip through the wooden bracing, reinforce the front fort with armor material. Okay, so maybe we're not supposed to connect to the other one. we got to reinforce before they rip through that. Once the fort is protected, build an upgrade center. Okay, and a sniper, and then we use said sniper to win the game. Okay, I get the idea. Here's a tip, the slanted armor deflects bullets and takes no damage. So what we want to do is basically uh, deflect a bullet downwards and explode it because I saw a bunch of barrels down there, so that should be fun. Okay, so first of all, we need to upgrade all this to metal. So we're going to quickly upgrade our front to metal. I can hear them tearing out the middle thing already. Not too shabby though, we uh, made quick work of that, so make sure all of this is metal. We might even want to go... A tier deeper just in case like right here. Ooh, yeah, they're already shooting through that did not take long at all So we're going to put two walls of metal just to be safe And then we got to go to the vices get the upgrade center here That's going to take a while to install man They are ripping right through it and while we wait for that we can't really do too much I guess we can yeah, we can get our sniper down. I didn't think about that. Let's put that sniper down Let's also hide that sniper so we can hide it now. So what we're gonna do uh, Let's just build this upwards. Unfortunately. I don't know if I can do can I? Oh, God damn it. It's so finicky once you get into this t territory. So we're going to do that. And we're actually going to... I made a little mistake. We're going to have to make this into a doorway. So this will be... Oh, the sniper is not... I put the sniper a little bit too close to the door, so we gotta actually delete that. So we're, 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 we're gonna take some fire here. Thankfully, we got reinforcements, so we should be okay. Now, we're gonna put the sniper back here, and with that, we can put this door on. That's gonna keep my sniper safe from the miniguns until the door gets open. So that should be a hell of a lot better, and yeah, we should be totally fine. This isn't too bad. Now, we're gonna have to upgrade the sniper as well. So we're just gonna take these shots to the face while we're slowly upgrading this fort. All right, he did break one of my walls, but it's a quick fix for that. There we go. This sniper is ready to go. We're going to upgrade him to armor piercing, and that's all we really need. So you can see my fort's doing just fine. Thankfully, you can quickly repair. So while he's just wasting time, I'm just going to uh, wait for these upgrades. Okay, and my armor piercer is ready. Now, you'll see when I shoot here. Let me actually just prepare this. It will actually open the door, as you can see, and then I can actually shoot out. Uh, is that a good spot to go? I think we're gonna need to go a little bit higher, so let's do that. Yes. Oh, this is gonna be bad for you, good sir. Uh, my armor should be totally fine. I'm not really worried about it. Oh, blew up the top guy. Let's repair real quick while we blew up him. We need to drop this down a bit to hit. I'm trying to hit. Oh my god, I hit the other guy as well. Not intentional. I was actually trying to hit the damn explosion, but, uh, that's totally fine. Yes! There we go! And an explosion all the way down to the bottom. Shoot miniguns through doors. Oh, that was actually part of it. So I'm glad I actually did do that. Uh, and avoid damage to all armor. That I don't know how you would even do that. You'd have to kill all the minigunners before they can even shoot you. All right, and I went back real quick to earn some more uh, of the oils. So we did a perfect run on that one. Let's hit next here and see how much we need. So that should give us... 13! That's all we- I thought that's what we needed. Yes! There we go. So theater unlocked. We've made it to Europe, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, that wasn't so bad. Alright, the first one in Europe is called Burning Down the House. We have to destroy enemy fort, don't get hit, and hit a mortar. Sounds simple enough. I promise fireworks, behold, the dragon rains fire. Those wood houses shouldn't throw flaming stones. Yes, if you're in a wood house, you should not have flaming stones. Good point. Ah, uh, the enemy has reinforced this fort with armor, but they forgot... Yeah, the beam. However, the weak spot br made of bracing here, which is vulnerable to fire. Okay, so we're gonna have to get that down to knock the whole thing down. Uh, build a workshop here. Okay. Build a mortar here. Simple enough. And machine guns to defend your fort. Okay, I get the idea. Make your country great again. Ugh, I hate that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put a workshop in here, and while we're waiting for that to upgrade so we can build our mortars, we just have to be careful of enemy fire. That's going too far. That one, ooh, 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 okay. Get that one down, there we go, we shot it right out of the air. And uh, yeah, we just gotta do that a few hundred times as we wait for this thing to be built. 
All right, hit that one. There we go. It did hit me once, unfortunately, already. So that means we are not going to get a perfect run here. Ah, uh, the mortar. Oh, okay. It hit me again. No, no, don't, don't, don't burn that. That is not good. We need to get rid of that real quick. We'll put two mortars up here. This platoon is on fire. Okay, yeah, we need to repair that first. Uh, the platform is under construction. Okay, there we go. Now we got both our mortars. Uh, should be another onslaught of mortars anytime now. There they come. Oh, there we go. Got that one out of there. Oh, we're not going to get that one. And it's going to hit us again. See, it's damn near impossible to hit them all. All right, one mortar's done. We'll just wait for the other one here. This guy's getting ready to shoot two of them, as you can see. Actually, all three. So, oh, here comes two. Let's shoot those. Okay, we got one. We got two. And the other one missed. Perfect. Now we got both of our mortars, so we can uh, throw back some fire here. I have no idea how hard to shoot, so let's try that for right now. Oh, first try. Can it be first try? Oh, man, that was so close. Okay, we just need to go a little harder, so let's do, uh, let's try something like that should be good. Okay, there we go. Come on. Knock this motherfucker down. Yeah, perfect shot. Oh, all right, we're just going to let those ones actually hit me. We should be totally fine. And we'll keep the pressure on. There goes another set. And, oh, 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 repair, repair, repair. And we knocked it down in one. All right, man, that was a good first more, more mortar shot. If you, if you can align it the first try, it's not going to take long to knock the thing down. Oh, I forgot we were supposed to hit a mortar as well. I guess we could have tried for that, but uh, honestly, I, I just enjoy playing these. These challenge levels are fun because in, in the uh, multiplayer game, you build from the ground up, which is fun as well. But I like that you have objectives in the campaign mode. All right, guys, but we're going to wrap up this episode of Forts here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, checking out some of the more in-depth weapons in the game. Uh, next time, we'll be trying these other two uh looks like we gotta do sniping as well as doing some more mortaring it looks like and then we're getting out of europe in and we'll see what happens next so i hope you guys enjoyed this one as always thanks for watching and liking guys and i will see you in the next one